I want to make a video discussing ways that you can handle disputes with your bank. Uh, banks are becoming bigger and bigger. All the small banks are being pushed out by regulation. And as banks get bigger and as they have to adhere to more and more rules, they become more and more rigid with their customers. And they start to behave more like um, like state agencies or government departments rather than you know private sector companies. Uh, so often people will be harmed as a result of a bank's decision or a bank's policies. And I think banks are are sort of dismissive of the complaints because they know that the person's probably just going to complain. They're not going to close their account. They're really not going to do anything about you know, the, the harm that they've suffered. And that's unfortunate because if you, if you know how to handle the bank, most likely you'll get a, a favorable reaction from them. So my first piece of advice is that you choose a small bank or a credit union when you're opening an account or when you're getting a loan or whatever it may be. Now, these institutions aren't perfect, but generally they have better customer service than large banks. Now, if you've been harmed by a bank, uh, whether it's an overdraft fee or whether it's uh, you've been denied from a loan or for a loan after you know you've spent several hundreds of dollars preparing for a closing, whatever it may be, um, probably the best step to take is to file a complaint with the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, the CFPB. So I've dealt with almost every bank in this area um, and a lot of banks outside this area dealing with, um, with mortgage loans. And when you bring up the CFPB, you almost always get a reaction that's favorable for you. So I would start by just telling the bank, look, I'm going to file a complaint with the CFPB. Whoever you're talking to, tell them you're going to name them specifically in the complaint. And hopefully that should be enough to get a favorable reaction. If it doesn't, then go ahead and file the complaint. Very simple to do. You go online. All you need is uh, your account number. And then you just need to give a brief statement of, of what happened. Okay, and it is effective. The CFPB uh, contacts the bank, gives them something like two weeks to answer the complaint, and you could publish the complaint on the CFPB's site. Okay, so it becomes a public complaint against the bank. So if that doesn't work, and if you have a genuine loss that resulted from the bank's decision, um, I would recommend going to small claims court. Uh, this may seem drastic to people who are unfamiliar with the court process, but it's really not. Small claims court is incredibly user friendly. Um, you just need a simple one page uh, complaint. Uh, it's a form that you get at the court. It would take it would take ten minutes to fill it out. Uh, filing fees $50 up to $150 and you really don't need a lawyer to go to small claims. You just go in there, it's very informal, you explain to the magistrate what happened. And I would say nine times out of ten, if not more, the bank will receive the complaint and before the hearing date they'll reach out to you and they'll offer you a, a settlement or they'll pay whatever it is you've lost as a result of, of their procedures or their uh, their decisions. Okay, so first of all, I'd say don't do nothing. Don't just throw up your hands and say, well, it's the bank. I can't dispute their decisions. You can. Try to choose small lenders or credit unions when possible. Um, use the CFPB's website. All right? It's an excellent way to, to dispute your bank. And then if none of that works, consider small claims court. Like I said, it's very informal, it's inexpensive, and it's just easy to use, and it will almost always get a, a reaction from your bank um, 